We are a group of chemical engineering students from the University of Arkansas and we will be describing an experiment to study the fusion of a salt in pure water by measuring the changes in conductivity with time. In this video, we will be describing the equipment, discussing the experimental setup, talking about the fundamentals of the fusion, and explaining the calculations to determine the diffusion coefficient of the salt. The diffusion cell is a glass U-shaped vessel. The lower end is larger and it is sealed with a disc that contains small capillaries. The diffusion vessel is a clear acrylic container that is placed on top of the magnetic stirrer. A conductivity meter attached to the diffusion vessel measures changes in conductivity as a function of time. The lid of the diffusion cell has a gland that allows the diffusion cell to be inserted and clamped. The conductivity meter is connected to a computer to export conductivity and temperature readings that are logged as a function of time. So now we're going to show you how to actually do the experiment. Firstly, we have to connect the conductivity meter to the computer. And then you can start the program. Place the stir inside of the diffusion vessel. And then rinse the electrode with pure water. After it's rinsed dry it with the Kim wipe and secure it tightly inside of the vessel. Fill the vessel with a liter of water. And now we're going to rinse the inside of the diffusion cell with salt solution. And now we can fill the diffusion cell with salt solution. And you'll want to check if there are any air bubbles and remove them like this. And fill the solution until it lines up with the top of the diffusion cell. And then rinse the outside of the diffusion cell with pure water. And then we need to remove any excess solution on the top of the capillaries with this filter paper. Just be careful not to remove any of the solution from inside. And then dry the outside of the diffusion cell with another Kim wipe. Screw the diffusion cell back into the lid. Power on the conductivity meter and press record. Start the agitation. And place the diffusion cell into the vessel. And then hit start on the program. And open up the graph. Now I will be discussing the fundamentals of diffusion. Mass transfer is the movement of a species in a mixture from one location to another. One mechanism of mass transfer is molecular diffusion, which is the most common type of diffusion in chemical separation processes. Molecular diffusion is driven by concentration gradients. That transfer stops when the concentrations are uniform. This experiment focuses on the diffusion of a one molar sodium chloride solution in pure water. The diffusion is studied by measuring the change in conductivity of the pure water as the salt solution diffuses into the water through the diffusion cell. The pure water is in continuous agitation that ensures that the salt concentration in the vessel stays well mixed. The salt will diffuse from the diffusion cell into the reservoir due to the presence of a concentration gradient. As the salt diffuses from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration, the conductivity of the pure water increases.
Okay, now we will move on to the calculations. To calculate the diffusion coefficient from the experimental data, we will use the following equation, where V is the volume of the outer vessel and has a value of one liter. L is the length of the capillaries and has a value of 0.45 centimeters. D is the diameter of the capillaries and has a value of 0.1 centimeters. C is the molarity of the solution and it depends on what value you want to use. Lambda has a value of 0.11 1 over ohms per molarity and it represents the electrical conductivity change for unit in molarity change. And dk over dt represents the slope of the graph and has units of 1 over ohms per second. The rate of change of conductivity with time is obtained by plotting conductivity which has units of Siemens versus time which has units of seconds. After determining the experimental diffusion coefficient, we compare the experimental value with the theoretical value. The theoretical diffusion coefficient for a 1 molar sodium chloride solution is 1.48 times 10 to the negative fifth centimeter squares divided by seconds. Thanks for watching this video on how to study the diffusion of a salt in water.